Hey, my name's Donnie. I'm 26 years old, currently living in Queens, New York, originally from Long Island. Uh, I don't know if I still have the accent. Tell me if I do. Um, what I'm kind of doing with my life right now is, uh, well, I work for UPS. I'm an investigator. Um, what that entails is, uh, like, finding process breakdowns and, and, and finding answers to issues, um, you know, asking the right questions and all that kind of stuff. I know it doesn't really describe it, but, you know, I really can't get into it, believe it or not. Um... So, what else do I do? I like to dance, uh, believe it or not. I know I'm a white guy. You think I'm probably just jumping around like an idiot at a bar somewhere, but that's not what I'm about. Um, I've been in music videos for dancing, um, and uh, before that I was uh, a hip-hop instructor in a studio in Union Square for international students. I also taught in Long Island for a little while. And uh, before that, uh, I worked for a DJ company as a motivator that would get, you know, grandma up to dance and, and do, like, routines and showcases and things like that. And I did that uh, starting when I was 15 years old. And um, that was a great time. I mean, I was making $200 a weekend. And for a 15-year-old, that's insane. I don't know what these, you know, I was supposed to do with that money. I mean, now a 15-year-old could definitely find things to do with the money. But back then, I don't know, I was just saving it for, you know, moving out, which is what I did. You know, four years ago, I moved into this basement here in Queens. And, you know, it's just something that's close to the city so I can, you know, en enjoy what's out there. Um, what else do I do? I also, um, study languages in my spare time, um, just to keep my brain moving. Um, currently I'm studying Mongolian, uh, which has been an experience, definitely. Um, I got into it because I saw the script. Um, the script actually is, it's, I have a thing around my neck that means success, but the script is actually vertical. It's the only script that's still being used that's vertical. I know people are like, yeah, Japanese is vertical too. I've seen the books, and it's it's their characters. It's not a script; it doesn't go down. Um, so that's the difference, I guess. But the, I mean, it was interesting to me, so that's why I'm into it, I guess. Um, and uh, the first thing you probably notice about me is that I look like I'm mixed, uh, and uh, I'm actually not mixed. I'm almost 100% Italian. Um, my mother's kind of a mutt, that's why I say almost. Um, but I don't speak Italian. My parents never spoke Italian, except for when my father used to curse at me, and I still don't know what he was saying. Um, and I don't know if my grandparents spoke any Italian or not, but, uh, I don't speak any. So I'm probably good, better at Mongolian than I am at Italian. Um, and then you probably notice that I have a deep voice. I've actually had this voice since the sixth grade. Uh, which is, I guess, really weird. Uh, people always thought that I was three or four years old than I really was, um, but I never really used it to my advantage. I probably should have. Um, so that's uh, way back when there. Um, favorite books is just all these reference books that I got over here in terms of languages. I have different dictionaries and, and linguistics things and uh, other languages like Sumerian and Akkadian, Azerbaijani, Russian, Latin, Chinese, Korean, Tibetan, uh, lots of different stuff I have over there. Um, movies, I don't really watch too many movies. I do own a whole bunch of movies. I watch them on the, on the projector back there. Uh, I figure it's bigger than, better than a big screen TV because I could actually, you know, when I get out of this basement finally, I can just pick up the projector and get out and not have three people come, come over and ruin my TV on the way out of the doorway. But, um, you know, I like the action, I like the Jackie Chans, and I like the transporter and things like that, so something to keep me on my toes. Um, uh, music, I, I, I like all different kinds of mu music. Um, you know, I grew up listening to jazz on my father's car and, and dance KTU kind of stuff in my mother's car. So uh, anything that's got a good beat that is enjoyable, I'm all about it. So uh, I'm pretty easy on that sense. Uh, I'm also really, really easy on food. Uh, I'm like the the mascot for the meat and potatoes guys of America. Um, I'm just, you know, I just want the meat and the bread or, you know, just very simple. I don't want anything crazy like new something or other. I don't really like trying new foods. I just want to eat and have the sustenance and that's it. That's pretty much what I do. Um, my Friday nights or my weekends really consist of like hanging out at the lounge, you know, having a drink. Uh, I actually just started drinking like last year. I know I missed out for the, like five years, but um, I don't know. I just got into it and I've been having a good time with that. So uh, I've never had a hangover yet, though. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong, but I, I guess that's good. Um, 
and then like on the weekend I'll go to Central Park or I'll walk down Broadway, I'll hang out in Chinatown, um, maybe I'll play at the arcade, you know, just to have some friendly competition, meet some people, um, you know, and just uh, have to be outside. I mean, I'm an extroverted kind of guy. Uh, I like to go outside and, and you know, communicate with different kinds of folks and, and see what they're all about. I mean, there's a whole world out there, so I shouldn't be living it in my basement or somebody else's basement, of course. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, reach out to me. Uh, I think I leave the fluff for the pillows, and and uh, I really like to tell it how it is. And um, I don't know. I think that's it. Talk to you later.